Hi everyone! So in today's video we'll be showing you how to use the Starry Arts Pop Animation Animation Maker. So first you would go to your browser and then you would go to starryarts.com.au and press go. And once you reach this website you would click the menu button and in the menus at the bottom you see Animation Maker. We just want to select that. And then down here you'd be led to the pop animation website and as you scroll down you would click emoji and then over here you can see a lovely bunch of frames now you can choose any frame that you would like a moon cake a goldfish a lantern or a rabbit now for today i will be just selecting the moon cake 3d frame and then down here you will be uploading the photograph that you took of your drawing earlier and you either have the option to select from your photo gallery or you can take the photo as you are right now. So for now I'll be just uploading the photograph that I've taken from before. And then firstly in this first frame you'll be selecting the first drawing that you have done which will be this one in this case. And for the functions of this animation maker for the top sliding button you can turn it rotate it like this left to right at the bottom one you do zoom in or zoom out or these two will rotate your picture by 90 degrees like so first i'll just be placing a mine in the middle just like that oops and then once you're happy with this result you can just click done now a very handy dandy tool is if you select this frame and you go to up here to this button next to the rubbish bin over here and it's a duplicate frame so you duplicate it like so so that you don't need to keep uploading your photograph you can duplicate it four frames four times the number of frames you have and this one you would edit it like so with this little button over here and then you can select the second frame now a very useful function is comparing this frame with the previous one so that you can see where your previous frame was placed so that you could overlay it perfectly to have a more smooth finished animation. And then you click your third frame and you would click edit. And then you will select the third frame and I'll be zooming out a little bit like so and I'll be comparing it with the previous frame just to see where I've placed it before and once I'm happy with that I'm going to click done and then down here I'll just be editing it like so and I'll be comparing it with the previous frame just like before I'll click done and there you go when you scroll down, you'll be able to select how fast you would like your animation to appear. Just like that. And if you'd like to add more frames, all you're going to do is select the frames that you would like to duplicate or not duplicate. And click this button right here. And you can duplicate more than one frame. You can click two frames at once and click duplicate and a really cool thing what you can do is also order around the frame so this was frame one frame two frame three frame four and so on if you would like to change the order of it you can switch it around like so but for today i'll just be leaving it like this and i'll be editing this one to make it a little bit closer To make it look like the flower is zooming in. Like so. Done. Then now down here, you're able to see your finished work.
And that's it. That's how you use the Pop Animation Maker. To be able to save your finished GIF, you just scroll down all the way to the bottom where it says Output GIF. Select the speed at which you would want to have your finished result. And then you would press it and hold until this pop-up box comes up. And you would just press Save Image. And there you go. And you just go back to your Gallery slash Photos app and you'll be able to see it's saved in that.